Welcome back everyone, this is Kylie the Curly Crafter and I thought today it would be super spooktacular if I brought to you guys some super cool festive Halloween fake desserts including fake ice cream, a fake whipped cream topper, along with a fake cake and some fake fabric candy. So if you want to know how to make any of these items, stay tuned and watch this video for I will show you exactly how to do so. So the first thing I'm going to make in my fake Halloween dessert video are going to be these little ice creams. One that is skeleton themed, one that is candy corn themed, and one that is bat themed. So stay tuned and let's get started into our first DIY project. So for this project, what you are going to need is some really cute festive cups. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. I think they are perfect for Halloween because the orange color. And then I'm going to make some fake ice cream. So for my fake ice cream, what I do every time is just add spackling into a bowl. And to my spackling, I always mix in some flour. Now, if you guys are wanting me to make a video all about all of the different kinds of ice cream, just let me know down in the comments because I am willing to do that for you guys so I don't have to go through this process in all of my videos. On the other hand, when it comes to making my ice cream inside the bowl with the spackle, I never really measure anything. I just use heaping spoonfuls of flour and add that into the mixture. And if you do add too much flour, don't worry because you can just go in and add some more spackle to even it out. Make sure when you are mixing your spackle and flour, it's well combined so you don't have any lumpy pieces. And after it's well combined, you can just add in some coloring. I typically use white parchment because it gives it like a French vanilla color, which I think is beautiful for any type of ice cream or style that you are going for. When it comes to scooping out my spackle, make sure you don't use a scoop that you use in your kitchen or plan on using for baking. And I also like to prefer using a scoop that has a trigger to release the ice cream because if not, when you're trying to pry out the spackle, it's just going to fall apart and look like melted ice cream. And also, instead of wasting your spackle, here's a tip. I just take a piece of styrofoam as a little dummy, place it at the bottom so I don't waste any. The amount of spackle that I mixed up allowed me to make three cups of ice cream, but if I didn't use the styrofoam, I would have only been able to make two. So if you can tell here that the spackle will go a lot longer and a lot further if you just add something to the bottom so you don't waste it. As I mentioned earlier that I am willing to make an ice cream video, I can also make a whipped cream video on all the different types of whipped creams that I make for all of my fake desserts. And if you want that, just let me know down in the comments as well. So what I'm going to do for the three different whipped creams today is I'm just going to do the same recipe, just adding spackling and mixing it with paint. Literally, that is it. But the colors I will be mixing in with my spackle is going to be Lime Tree, Antique Parchment, and Velvet Crush. Thank you. 
Now that all of my whipped cream is piped, let's talk about decorations. So for the white one, I'm using these little candy corns that I think I got off of eBay on the shop called Anne's Treasures. They are super cute and later on in the video, I do have some other things from her shop that are so amazing and make all of my fake foods look so realistic. All of these little goodies right here, I don't remember where I got them because I had them stored from last year left over. The last thing that I got for my little ice creams are these like little Halloween style peppermint pieces that I'm going to add onto my ice creams. And once again, these are from Anne's Treasures, so I definitely recommend going and checking out her shop because she has some amazing and super cute things. And I'm also purchasing some of her little knickknack pieces to add onto my desserts for Christmas as well, so stay tuned. Next DIY on my list for this video is the fake whipped cream topper and everything that I used to make this little DIY craft here is all the extra supplies for my previous DIY. Start off by taking any kind of mug that you want to place your whipped cream on top. It could even be any kind of sundae dish if you would like. In this case, I'm using a radon one that my mom has on her coffee bar. I'm going to be giving this whipped cream to her and it looks super adorable. So let's jump right on in. Now that we drew our guidelines onto a piece of parchment paper, I'm just going to take some spackling and stick down a foam ball. The foam ball acts as a piece on the center so that the whipped cream does not collapse when it is drying. And then I'm just going to layer my different colors of leftover whipped cream for my ice creams. My whipped cream came out disproportionate but because I used three different colors I could not scoop it off and repipe it so I just had to go with it and try to hide it up with all the little decorations as best as I could. Do keep in mind though that all of the DIYs that I make with spackle take around one to two days to dry. Aren't these little fake candies just so adorable? I do have to say that this DIY is not my idea. It does come from one of the crafting YouTubers that I watch. Her name is Courtney and her channel is Creative on the Cheap. She has some really cool DIYs and if you are looking for DIYs just like the DIYs that I do, I recommend going and giving her a try. So for these candies, what you will need is little ping pong balls, or in my case, just Dollar Tree eyeballs. And then I picked up some fabric. These are fat quarters from Walmart. I picked up four different colors in orange, black, and white polka dots, and also purple. So these packages of fabric already come like pre-creased, so it made it so much easier for me just to cut along these little squares instead of measuring. I feel like the size that it came was perfectly fine, but if you're going to make them, I recommend around the size three inches by four inches. Thank you. 
The way that I assembled my little candies is just by using my Sherbonder hot glue gun and hot gluing the eyeball to the end of the fabric, then rolling it up and hot gluing it to the other end of the fabric just to create a little roll over the eyeball. And after my eyeball was secured inside of the fabric, what I did is I twisted each end and then I used one of these Dollar Tree little clips to hold it in place while I took a colored ribbon that matches the color of fabric and just tied on little knots to each end. After making quite a few candies, I did get a hang of tying the little knots on each side of the candies without using the little clips. The last DIY, but definitely not least, is a fake ghost cake. My inspiration initially came from the cover of one of these Halloween magazines in Target, and I thought it was super cute, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The foundation of my little cake are just going to be these little styrofoam circle pieces that I get from Dollar Tree. I will only need three of them, but to attach these pieces while working, I just took some spackling in a popsicle stick and I applied it in between each layer. Also, while working on it, since I didn't feel like letting it dry for a whole day, I just took some toothpicks and stuck them in between the styrofoam so it wouldn't move around. So I started making this fake cake not knowing that I was completely out of orange, which is the color I wanted to do, and I said, hey, it's not that bad of an idea if I just use some food coloring, but this food coloring was specifically for dessert, so it wasn't as strong as regular food dye. Apparently, it took me like a half a bottle to get to the color I wanted, and still it was not dark enough to my liking. So I definitely recommend picking up some paint. I buy mine for 50 cents, the brand Apple Barrel, at Walmart if you need some. After I was done frosting and adding all of the other charms to my cake, I decided to remove the little toothpicks and frost the top. After the top was frosted, just like how I made my whipped cream, I made some black whipped cream and just piped on a border on the top and bottom layer of my cake. And then I also made my whipped cream mixture in white and just used a little circle tip to make little ghost shaped pieces on the top of my cake. 
After I added all the ghost shaped pieces on the top of my cake as I desired, I just took the leftover black frosting from the border and added on eyeballs. That is it for this video and I hope that you guys have enjoyed all of my Halloween fake desserts and if you did make sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a fake dessert video just like this, also videos including decorating, baking, all sorts of fun things and if you guys like it, thank you guys so much for watching and bye everyone!